Damn it. Ah. <laughs> I'm gonna wait till six. Um, but if anyone's here, please say hello, because I don't know if you are. So, I just wait and hide behind my little sign until, until, can you hear that? There is so much thunder going on right now. It's great. If I lose power, I will be gone. Just so you know, because the power is what fuels the router for the internet. So if that goes, I go. Uh, maybe I'll come back on my phone and use data, but will I? I don't know. So fair warning, uh, I'm in the middle of a front thunderstorm. So that's fun. I like thunderstorms. I think they're great. Um, hello! Well, I know Nate's here. So really... The, the party is, are you, are, oh, I'm very tired. I'm always very tired. I recognize that. But I think that's also sort of indicative of the world. Um, I'm less worried about, is it me? Is it, am I eating right? Am I sleeping enough? Am I, and then I realize, no, I don't, I don't think it's me. I think it's just the everything that I am just tired forever and so are you except for Christine who's here because Christine got a goodie box full of Japanese things that she waited for me to Skype with her and watch her open and it made me miss Japan so much um so I do want to show while we're while I'm waiting for people to get here hello Bobby um I will show one of my favorite trinkets from Japan is this little bonsai I don't know let's see if it'll focus yeah, so this is a little guy. I know how monitors work. Um, this is a little guy disguised as a bonsai. He just makes me so happy. And I got it. He was in a gashapon, and I went back to buy all of them, but I got the last one. So he is he's coming to Europe with me. It's my little house plant. Um, I love him very much. Okay. That's all the fun Japanese things I have. Yeah, he's a bonsai ninja, I think. Um, so, I'll just start, because that's what I'm supposed to do. That's why we're all here. Um, I'm going to... Let's check my notes. Uh, my book got wet, so all my pages are crusty and bendy. Thanks, buddy. He's asleep. I'm sure he'll wake up later. Um, so, this song... I've actually had in like the back of my catalog, my catalog, as if I have a catalog, I have a Google Doc. I have a Google Doc that is titled The Set List to End All Set Lists. And it's basically just notes on every song that I know. It's just a list of every song I know, whether it's one I wrote or one I've covered. Um, it's not complete. I'm constantly forgetting things. Um, and this isn't even top of the list, but this is the very first song I wrote. Um. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, sorry. Um, it's in a weird, weird key because I wrote this before I knew how to play accordion and it kind of shows. It's, it's oddly designed, I think. Um, but this is the first song I ever wrote. Um, I wrote it for a show. Well, I mean, I, I, I've written songs forever. I wrote songs when I was 10. Uh, they weren't any good. But um, and who says this one is any good? But I wrote this for a Dr. Sketchy's anti-art school in Asheville, North Carolina. God, 13, 14, 15, a long time ago? Can't have been that long. Ooh, more thunder. But it was a really long time ago, and it's about the end of the world, uh, which is oddly why I didn't bring it out. But I feel like we've made it this far in the apocalypse, like, we might as well drink about it. Sing a song about it. Drink about it. And you can't see my hands at all, because it's all happening down here! Which is part of why I just didn't... I, just, well, I think I'm writing in, like, 
C, F, B flat minor. Actually, B flat minor is kind of cool, but who cares? It's lots of accidentals, lots of black keys. That's that's some bullshit. <laughs> static popped in there at the end um still got it there's a lot of so here's a cool trick if you ever pick up an accordion i'll do it up here so this da, 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 this is your like regular bass rose this is just a note and it's the circle of fifths all the way up if you know what the circle of fifths are congratulations this will make sense if you don't i can't explain it because i'm lying i cheated at music so the thunder is so great. I wish you could hear it. Um, anyway, if you do this and then you do a chord button two up, like, so along this diagonal row, so, but if you just bass button, chord button, bass button, yeah, so you go bass button, chord button, and then you see my finger goes up and then back to the same chord button. And then you reach over for this counter bass, which is a third up. Wait. I can't do it if I'm looking. Ah. Just watch my fingers. Ah. 
you're reaching for that other bass button. I should never teach. I should never teach accordion with a mirrored uh, monitor. It doesn't work. Um, because I can't help but look and my hand is reversed. And it's one thing to like keep a puppet in frame. It's another thing to hit a very exacting button. Um, anyway, it's a cool little accordion trick and it makes everything sound like you know what you're doing. If there is one thing I am a professional at, it is making it look like I, once upon a time, I could make it look like I knew what I was doing. Those days are quickly fading into the past. Um, I'm gonna scroll up a little bit so I can see people. Oh, hello everyone who's who's joining me. Um, oh, somebody is starting to move. Um, I think I need a beverage before I do the next song. So because Christine was opening all these amazing Japanese toys and and uh, she got a she got a bread cat, which is like a cube rectangular cat. Um, but it's like a loaf of bread mixed with a cat. It's Japan. She also got a big, uh, fox pillow, but like a sacred fox Inari type, uh, like, like from the Inari shrine in, in Kyoto, if you've been, um, that was a shitty phrase. They're basically like sacred foxes. They're white. They've got little red tips and little red dots on their, um, um t tips on their tails and dots on their head. Um, anyway, they're charming and... I wish I had something like Jelly Yuzu Sake, but I don't. What I do have, though, is weird Trader Joe's brand sparkling strawberry juice. So it's the weird fruit and sparkling. I actually cannot remember the name for strawberry in Japanese, uh, but I think it's Yahoda in Czech. Yahoda? Do ye? Do? Nevim! I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, anyway, I figured... I would make, I can't make jelly because I don't have gelatin. I'm not really a gelatin eater. Um, I also broke all of my fingernails. Part of that went on my computer. Um, but <laughs> in the hopes of more ASMR and very colorful beverages, I wanted to try this straight up. That's candy. Um, it's not bad, it's just candy. It's a lot sweeter. But, we're making a cocktail. I don't know, I don't know dick all about cocktails. But, I do know about sake. So this is actually fairly run of the mill, um, let's see, yeah, soshikubai. Um, which is like, it's pretty generic. You can find the sake everywhere. But what you want is nigori. Uh, nigori and then that's sake. So that's just, that's just sake. And then nigori, and nigori is the cloudy sake, which is served cold. It is way better than cheap hot sake. And I'm going to mix the two. I should have tried the sake to see if it's still good because I don't drink a whole lot. So this sake is, it's, it's old. It's been in my refrigerator for a while and it will continue to live in my refrigerator. But now I've made sparkling strawberry nigori sake drink, drink, beverage, cocktail. That's pretty damn good. I, I will recommend this bullshit that I just put together. Hey friends, if you live in America and you can get weird sparkling strawberry drink, nigori sake is pretty easy to find. Most like regular wine stores will carry it. It's very run of the mill. An excellent. Yay. Oh, and it's bright pink. It's very sakura looking. And it sort of tastes like sakura if you don't know what sakura tastes like. Um, which is just sort of generic fruit taste. And that strawberry is kind of generic fruit taste. Anyway, segment over. I wanted to do that drink because I'm about to do a cover that means something to more people who are important to me than I would normally care to do a cover. Does that make sense? Um, this song is important to a lot of people, and it's important to me. The problem is that I heard this song when I was a kid, and I wonder if maybe I heard someone sing it afterwards, because I went back to look up the chords 
And the version in my head is not quite the version from the film. The melody's a little different. Um, and, uh, and Gonzo's a little bit atonal anyway. Like, please don't come for me, Muppets. I love Gonzo. He's a favorite. Uh, but, but yeah, his voice is a bit, I don't know, husky gravelly. And, uh, and the only version of it that I could watch on demand is on YouTube. And the sound is so quiet. I can't make it out. So I did what I normally do, which is I got around the creepy algorithm because Disney wants their money. And, um, and I'm just going to do the version that lives in my head. And every time I hear someone say the song's title, it plays in my head. And now I realize it plays a little bit wrong. And I'm okay with that. This is my version. So... And if you want to feel it, just think about the place that you cannot wait to go to or get back to once all of this shit is over. And uh, if you're missing out on Dragon Con, um, I think Bo maybe put this song back in my head. Uh, that's, a, that's something we're missing and can't wait to get back there. Uh, and um, yeah. For me, it's Central Europe right now, but also, after that box opening, Japan. I miss it a lot. And I'm going to go back there someday. It's almost as if I wrote that intro, and I did not. This looks familiar, vaguely familiar. Almost unreal yet, it's too soon to feel yet. Close to my soul, and yet so far away. I'm going to go back there someday. Sunrise is night falls, sometimes the sky calls. Is there a song there? Do I belong there? I've never been there, but I know the way. I'm going to go back there someday. Come and go with me, it's more fun to share. We'll both be completely at home in midair. We're flying, not walking, on featherless wings. We can hold on to love by invisible strings. There's not a word yet for old friends who've just met Part heaven, part space Or have I found my place? You can just visit But I plan to stay I'm going to go back there song hits home. I'm sorry if I didn't do the version you remember because I can't keep it in my head. Um, that's all. And uh, is there anything else I was going to talk about? No. It's sort of a light, a light. Oh, here we go. Do it. Do it. Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? I'm going to check out the... Okay. He, you want to see something cool? Hold on. This is so stupid. And yet, I am so excited about this possibility. I wonder where my cat is. Turn, oh, I'm, <laughs> it wants me to turn off Bluetooth, or turn on Bluetooth, because I had it on airplane mode, again, because I am a professional. I just want, I just want to hear it, I just want to find my cat. 
Ugh. This is so stupid. It's not working. Ah. You know, I feel like more, more like brand synopsis. There he is. I can call him. I mean, now he doesn't know or care. He does not care at all. But sometimes, nope. Okay, we're done. Stop, 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 stop. Go back on airplane mode. Anyway, I'm very excited because he sometimes falls asleep in weird places and I can't find him. And then I start to panic. Um, and that panic will be uh, so much worse when I live in another country. So very happy that that, that yeah, I know, um, that I've got that. Yay, he's got a, he's got a Bluetooth tracker. Come on. Anyway, once this weird ghost buzzing is finished, um, I'll do the, I'm playing to a backing track for Row or Row Your Boat this time because I have, uh, I want to play Saw. So I'm going to play Saw because I haven't done that in all of these shows. So now's as good a time as any. Let me, let me set up so I don't waste all this time. Yeah, there you go. Do it. Good boy. Good boy. Just somebody tell me if he starts eyeing that sake and I miss it. Because that's not for him. Okay. <laughs> Such a good co-host. All right. The thunder is excellent. I, ah, I wish you could hear it.
Well, that was a thing. And now we've done it. And now it's over. It's been 25 minutes. So, that's all. Uh, how's everybody else doing? I hope you guys are well. And I miss you and I love you. And this one was weird too. But I feel like it may have been better than my last two. So, that's a, that's a step in the right direction. I guess. I have so many beverages right now. This is matcha. Again, I was missing Japan really hard. Okay, I need to set things down so that I can leave. Uh, hey Nemo. Hey Bugger. Bye-bye.